2 Corinthians 11 Corinthians that will give us a, a sort of different flavor. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. <laughs> in Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 2, and 2 Corinthians 11, 1 to 3. And uh, Paul writing to both churches says something in Corinthians that will give us a, a sort of different flavor as it relates to the power of the mind. In Colossians chapter 3, and even though it comes after Corinthians in its layout, we would read it first. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. That is another intercessory concept. So you want to seek in verse 1 and in verse 2, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. I want you to know this now. Seek and set. In 2 Corinthians 11, Paul, in writing extremely personal book, this book is the most personal except for maybe Philemon, because he's trying to get the Corinthian church not to be angry because of the first letter that he wrote. It's, it's, uh, I think of it, this letter as after the spanking. He becomes extraordinarily personal because of the first letter that he wrote. So he tells them things that he wouldn't normally talk about. It is extraordinarily lacking in its theological eloquence as the book of Ephesians. It's very personal. So he says to them, would to God ye could bear with me a little in my folly. And indeed bear with me. And here's where we go for theology. For I am jealous over you, not with a personal jealousy, but with a godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband that I present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. I want you to notice in one aspect he says now, since you are risen with Christ, you should seek and set. But I'm afraid that as the serpent beguiled Eve, there's always a danger. No matter what position you're in as a child of God, no matter who you are striving to reach higher, there is always a danger that you'll be distracted. Look at somebody and say, I will not be distracted. Amen. I will not be distracted. Uh, I, I, it would take so long to reiterate the definitions of mind, but we have to understand based on the Hebrew thought and also on the Greek thought that mind, your mind and my mind is not just a, a detached room in the house of a human being, but when you deal with the mind, you actually deal with life, with soul, with heart, with all of who and what we are. 
because we can be no different than what we are in our minds. Uh, this is the second part of the power of the mind. I will not be distracted. Mind. And, and so based on where we're placed and based on the influences and, and for those who were not here, the mind is, is influenced for those of us who know God by the Spirit of God and it is still influenced by the world. And the reason is because God did not detach our flesh. So he did not cut off a source of influence that messes with the mind in a negative sense because he's kept our flesh connected to us. Oftentimes I wish I didn't have to battle with the flesh. I wish I didn't have to battle with it. I thought. You know, I said, now, Lord, why don't you just, don't let it bother me. <laughs> One sign of being a child of God is the fact that there is a struggle. That you are fighting. Do I have any fighters here? Because the mind becomes the place where all of our emotions and contradictions are fought. The mind is the battlefield. I remember early the preachers would say, uh, if you think it, you should just, you know, you do it, you've already sinned in your mind. That's what they'd say. Yeah, you heard it, you know, you, you, you thought it, you know, so, so you're already going to hell because you, you thought it. Well. The point is that it's in the mind where I have to battle to find my victory. Because even if I thought about being with the woman in my mind, I haven't been with her physically. So she hasn't sinned. Are you all with me? I thought I'd catch your attention. Now I know I wake up. So now if I can defeat it in my mind and not act on it, you cannot say it's the same as doing it. Are you following me? You still, you're still with me? Because you have to defeat it in your mind. You don't get into an action before it comes to your mind. If you can defeat it in your mind, then you don't have to play it out. See, what they failed to understand was when Jesus said, he that looketh upon a woman to lust hath already sinned in his heart. But what they failed to understand was that that was when the will and the desire came together and then it only needed opportunity. Are you following me? If I get the opportunity, I will steal this thing or I will kill this person or I will take this thing because you have already put your will and your desire together and all you need is a chance. Are you following me? So then the Lord now, he does not have to wait till the action exhibits itself. He can deal with it when it's conceived in your mind. So he does not have to wait until he sees the final result because he knows what's going to lead to the final result and that has already been triggered in your mind. Now, if the Lord can catch you in your mind and reverse your mind, then he can reverse the action that would proceed. How many times has God caught it in your mind? I want to talk to some real people today. Amen. See, I want to talk to some, some real folk in this church. Amen. Uh, uh, look at neighbors. Hey, I don't want to talk to no stiff folk today. Amen. Because uh, now where we're going today, it's going to be a rough ride. We can talk to some real folk. Uh, the mind, the mind. It's not true that you, you have not brought the action out if you stop it in your mind. There are times when many things get in our minds and they distract us from the purpose that God has called us to. 
but it's in our minds that we battle to balance ourselves. And if I can push this thing out of my mind, then it loses its power over me. The strength then of, of, of the man or woman walking with God is that the Lord has to declare to us where we are. And he does this when he opens in Colossians. Paul does this by taking what seems to be subjunctive and hypothetical. If you study it carefully, you will find that the Greek A here is the particle of a fulfilled condition. And now he follows it by an indicative mode. And what he says is, you are risen with Christ. And so he says, now if then should be interpreted in view of the fact therefore that you were raised with Christ I want you to do two things I want you to seek and I want you to set now you cannot seek or set if you don't have a spiritual side because if you go by your flesh you do not set now you may seek but you can't set with the flesh because the flesh is changing too much the flesh is moving from one thing to the other it's responding to too many different impulses you see you see that's the thing that keeps us from having our mind set is when our flesh is in control. You can't set your mind on anything when you are moving by the impulses of your bodily and physical desires. Why? Because have you ever been in a situation where you just didn't know what you wanted? Have, have you been there uh, hungry one night and you went and you ate something sweet but then you wanted some meat and then you, you ate a little meat but then my God, I, I, I don't, I, I, I just can't get to what I taste. Uh, have you ever been there? Maybe, maybe you want to get stiff on me. Uh, but, but I've been there to where you end up eating a whole lot of different things, blowing the diet, blowing everything away, because you just couldn't find what the taste was because anytime you deal in reaction to your flesh you deal with different stimuli and 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 different things seem to jump off on you and you really don't know what you want before you met the lord you dealt with a lot of different stimuli and and you had to jump from one thing to the other seeking satisfaction you, you didn't know what you wanted to drink you didn't know whether you wanted to drink or smoke dope you didn't know whether you wanted to do both you didn't know whether you wanted to be out with somebody tall or somebody short you didn't know what you wanted you just well I'll just go with the flow whatever's happening I'll do y'all don't look at me like Alice in Wonderland Amen. Some of you are still fighting right now over what you used to do that's now in your mind. And unless I can get it out of my mind, I can't do what God would have me to do because I got too many things floating around distracting my mind. You see, it's important to understand this because we are fed by the stimuli through our flesh of the world and the control is for the mind if I can get your mind I can hold you when I'm not even around if if I can get your mind I can control your emotions your will and I don't even have to be around uh, all I need you to do is think about me and I don't have to be there you don't have to see me because I am in your mind you see, you see that's the thing that's Satan wants to do with everybody who declares themselves to be a child of God is I want to get to your mind I don't care if you go to church as long as I got your mind I don't care if you carry a Bible as long as I have your mind I don't care if you jump and shout because whenever I get ready I'll trigger your mind and shut down your joy I, all I got to do is get your mind if I can get your mind I can make you crawl if I I can get your mind I can make you call me in the middle of the a night if I can get your mind I can fix it so you can't sleep unless you know where I am if I can get your mind I can fix it so you can't even eat every time you get ready to eat and I come across your mind you'll push the food back 
because if I can get your mind, I've got control of you. Oh, I wish somebody would help me in here. Oh, God. Oh, you, you, you see what he's saying. And, 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 and what he does is he, he wants us to realize that you have been risen with Christ. If you have been risen with Christ, then there's something else that fights back. I'm not just a mindless creature being manipulated by the devil. And neither does my flesh run my soul or my spirit. Oh God, I, I don't think I ought to go there, Lord. Oh God, uh, uh, because these saints just want to act, Lord, like they ain't never been there, Jesus. And, and I'm trying to get the point across to somebody trying to be free. You see, the truth of the matter is you have been there where whatever your flesh said you did. Uh-huh. You, you, you have been there. And, and one of the things that that has done is you have, you have stretched the parameters of your responses to the stimuli of your flesh until you have just about done everything that could be done with a body. It's some, it's some folks in here who have done just about everything that can be done with a body, period. They have perpetrated it and they've been the victims of it they have and everything that's been done with the body has put something in the mind oh god it, it's it's not that you're in the place where the stuff was done anymore you have been removed from the place but what you did in the place hasn't been removed from uh, somebody's gonna come with me here <laughs> uh, th that battle you had last night it was not in the place it was in your mind and if you did not win the battle in your mind you would be back in the place uh-huh because the struggle was should I or shouldn't I well God wasn't over there we know that but what stimulated the flesh is still there I, I told the church once I went down to Jamaica I went with my little girl Tiffany and and we were on vacation together and I was up in Ocho Rios, and I remembered a place that used to be on the backside on the other side of the desert and while I was there with my daughter on vacation saved and sanctified full of the Holy Ghost got the power of God just rushing me night and day something popped up in my mind and what's in my mind came like this is it still over there that little spot over there where stuff just went real radical over there and I said to myself maybe I ought to you know just ease over there and see are they still in business over there well I fought the battle in my mind now am I ashamed that I thought it no I'm not because it just came back out of the resources of what had been planted years ago the thing that I'm glad about was I did not seek or I did not set my mind because God God has released my mind I can put it anywhere I want oh God I wish you're here with me victory comes when you have control of your mind oh I wish I could preach in here you can take my money and I still have joy because you ain't got my mind you can take my car and I still have joy because you don't have my mind you can tell me goodbye I don't want to see you again and I still because I got I wish somebody would help me here Ooh, God. touch somebody and tell them get your mind back <laughs> Uh -huh, so you can be what God would have you to be. Get your mind back so you can overcome what God wants you to overcome. Get your mind back because as long as I got your mind, you can't be all that you should be because I got the best piece of you sitting over here with me. I refuse to go crazy on somebody else's agenda. I'm going to use my own. I feel like having church in here. Today. 
Oh, it's some stuff that you have done that has put some things in your mind. And every now and then, Satan just goes down the list because he know where you've been. He know what you've been exposed to. Every now and then, even though you are in Christ, he runs down the list. And then what do you feel like today? Oh, I know you're over here in Jamaica. You're real close to you. Do you feel like it today? Uh, Sometimes you run into people that bring certain things back to your doing fine just serving the Lord in, in your little vacuum and feeling good oh I beat the devil running and I'm so glad but then the devil let somebody give you a call on the phone that triggers a lot of stuff in your mind one minute you're on cloud nine praising God and the next minute you're in a battle to hold yourself together because somebody's trying to seduce your mind I feel God in this place <laughs> I feel like having church here oh, the mind the mind the mind and, and the mind and sometimes folks have got your mind because you've exercised your flesh to a point where its gratification was set in your mind. And as you stretch its parameters, as you widen its field of pleasure, as you open it up to all of the devious things that the flesh likes to enjoy, because, because flesh, you know, you give it so much and then it gets bored. And so you know, you know how it is. And so you got to give it a little more and then it gets bored. It get, it's get used to that and then you give it a little more and then it gets bored and so you stretch the parameters out some folk don't understand that just for you to be in a church is a miracle all by itself just for you to come through somebody's church door and sit down is is a battle already run because where you are coming from nobody understands what God had to do in your mind to get you to even think about the house of God and every time I overcome something that's in my mind I can give God the glory that's why when I praise him just get out the way and let me praise him because you don't know the battles I have glory to God in my mind you stretch it and you allow it and and the devil keeps a record of all the things that you have done and every now and then the stimuli of your experiences that are lodged in your mind come alive we call it in some circles a, a flash back it's just like you know I'm doing all right with Jesus but I just got a flash back somewhere alone in the middle of the night in the house and, and wondering what your partners are doing that you haven't called in six years and, and the devil seems to know when the flesh is moving to that level where it's just not acting like it ought to behave itself it's just out of control every now and then you have these flashes of out of control where your flesh begin to stimulate you and, oh god and then sometimes when you can't get to who used to you wonder if who's around you uh, can uh, I wish I could talk to y'all y'all I'm trying to make heaven my home y'all uh, touch somebody say I'm going to heaven and I got to tell on myself because I got to go to heaven. I, I just can't keep it pent up. You got to fight it in your mind because the devil wants to play with your mind to get you to set your affection
actions lower than you ought to set them. You got to pick up your mind sometimes and set it over there and tell the blood of Jesus to surround my mind because I don't want to think it. I don't want it running through my head because I'm trying to get out of it. And if I stay in my mind, I'll lose the battle. You have to win the battle in your mind and tell the devil I have set my affections on things that are higher and I refuse to go back down. <laughs> Touch your neighbor say it's just a distraction. <laughs> Uh, that's all it is it's just a distraction just as soon as you start moving with God here comes another distraction just as soon as you get yourself together overcoming some things and getting up the ladder with God moving and blessing and just before it's time to open another door here comes another dis I feel God in this place touch your neighbor say it's just another distraction that I got to get through I can't put my mind on it it ain't worth it it ain't enough in it for me to put my mind on it I gotta put my mind somewhere where I can be blessed going in and coming out it's just another distraction we all sit down we, we're gonna try to be You've got to understand the power of the mind here. And, and so he wants everyone to know that you have been risen with Christ. And because of that, you have the power of will. So I want the things above to be sought constantly. You've got to link your mind to something else other than what has been controlling your flesh. Because when the flesh controls the mind you're in for a yo-yo ride you know up and down you're in for whatever somebody stimulates because I know your mind I put it in your mind for your mind to respond to me oh God I don't want to get mad in here I don't want to get mad that's why sometimes when people have relationship with folks they give them little drugs they give them little drugs just a little drugs just to deal with their mind that's why they tell you when you're in a battle and you're trying to maintain yourself sexually that ain't the time to go drinking honey because the liquor will you know sort of ease you down a little bit you know and I give you give you one and how is that and they give you two how is and three, have another I have another and then what that does is it breaks down your ability to fight back and then once your ability to break down is down then of course I can get to your mind because if I give you a mind altering drug then you will not respond in your right mind now haven't you just messed up and touched stuff been with stuff had something to do with stuff you would have never had anything to do with if you were in your right mind you see if I can just mess with your mind I can destroy your outcome but when I have set my mind to the purpose of God what God says is you are risen with me which means I'll give you power over your mind through faith in the spirit so you can look at the devil and say devil this is just a distraction and I already been there and I ain't going there tell somebody I'm getting ready to break through right now I'm getting some ready to break through I'm getting ready to break through it's some things that's been holding my mind that God is going to send an anointing to release I feel God in here. I wonder must I preach this thing in here. Oh God, your mind, your mind, your mind, your mind. Tell somebody, say your mind's a terrible thing to waste. Oh, you can't waste your mind. Oh God. Satan will try to play with your mind. And he'll tell you you don't have the power. 
I'm not going to keep you long, but notice who he brings up in Corinthians. Because he is trying to show us something. If, if a person sets an affection of phronia, it is to direct the mind to a thing and lock it on that thing. You have to use your will then to determine where you're going to put your mind. And that's why the Spirit of God operates in your mind to open your mind, not to intellectual uh, comprehension, but the Spirit of God gives you discernment. Because God understands that wherever you set your mind, it's going to determine the outcome of your future. My future is wherever my mind is. If it's is positive, then my mind has to be placed in positive things. If it's negative, then my mind in a negative is going to bring me down. I've been in hell long enough and I ain't thinking about staying. I'm going to hook my mind to something that will bring me out of the hell of my environment. Because if I get my mind set, there ain't no devil in hell that can break a mind that the Holy Spirit has directed. Oh, I feel God in here. Oh, God, I can, I, I'm trying to behave myself. Touch somebody, say, put your mind on it, and God will guarantee it. If you want victory, put your mind on it. If you want power, set your mind on it. If you want a deliverance, set your mind on it, and don't let anything distract you. It's already yours if it's in your mind. Oh, I feel like shouting. Oh, God, I feel your power in here. Oh, touch somebody say, I'm coming out because my mind is already out. Tell somebody I got victory because I already have it in my mind. Tell somebody I'm breaking loose because my mind has already. Hmm your God in this place you understand then just just give me a little more time you understand then that that, that the affections here they're the direct one's mind and you must not only seek but you must think you got to think it until it becomes pervasive within the parameters of your intellectual emotional and volitional self you've got to make it you that's it I'm success because what a man thinketh in his heart so is he I'm victory you're looking at victory when you look at me because that's what I think I'm successful because when you look at me you look at what I think I'm not weak because I don't think weak I'm not sad because I don't think sad I'm not broke because I don't think broke I feel like preaching in here touch your neighbor say I might not have any money but I ain't cheap I don't think I'm cheap because I ain't got no money because I don't think cheap when I ain't got no money I'm somebody because I think I'm somebody who I feel God in here uh, y'all sit down we, we work here. Uh, and so I'm not just seeking purpose uh, I am purpose I, and, 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 and then he brings up the fact uh, that, that there has always been a move of Satan to limit uh, how much and how far you set your mind and the thing he does is he influences where you set your mind with the failures of the past uh, oh I feel God in here you have already been through so much stuff that the devil can't bring you no new thrill uh, I wish I could talk to you Johnny I know you I don't know about you I feel the Holy Spirit in here oh, you know you've been through ain't no new thrill for you so the only way the devil can deal with your mind is to cause you to flash back. He's got to remind you because he can't bring you nothing new. He threw it all at you up front. Early in your life, you did all there was to do. The only way he can get you now is to bring a flashback. But you got to tell him like Paul, forgetting those things which are behind. 
of God in this place. Somebody look at the devil and say, too late. I got a new man. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are and behold all things have become new I got a new mind shake somebody's hand say I got a new mind I got victory in my mind power in my mind joy in my mind and I shall overcome cause I got a new mind y'all sit down a minute we got a little more to go I will Somebody hold up. Oh, glory. Hmm. Woo, I feel it in here. Oh, once your mind is set. Hey, 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 hey. That's why they can't get to you like they used to. That's why they can't reach in and control you. That's why they don't understand what happened to you. I got a new mind over in Zion and it's my mind. I got new joy. They can't touch you no more. Touch your neighbor and tell them you can't touch this. I got my mind somewhere else. You can't break me down like you used to. I got my mind somewhere else. You can't control me like you used to. I got my mind. I'll keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is that? I'm trying to close. I guess I better quit now. But I feel like preaching. Can I take you just a little higher? The will now is insignificant here because you gotta set your mind there no matter what the distractions are because the opposite of a mind that is not set is instinct and that is reaction or unwilled reactions you see that's been the weakness that we have had why folk have manipulated us and controlled us and the only way somebody can keep you a victim is when you move from unwilled reactions folk will mess with your mind and have you doing stuff that you really don't want to do it's just them overpowering your mind I wish I could preach this thing so somebody could get loose tell your neighbor I'm getting loose cause I want my mind back you got to sometimes go into your prayer closet get down on your knees and tell God I come for you to give me my mind back because I want my mind where you have control over it because I'm tired of being used by folk that just want my body but got to have my mind to get my money I wish I could talk to you in here if you get your mind back everything the devil took from you he has to give you back because once you get your mind back you'll go over there and get your clothes you go over there and get your car the reason you ain't got your car is because you ain't got your mind the reason you don't know what your body's doing is because you ain't got your mind but the day you get your mind back you look at the devil and say get out of my house because I I feel the Holy Ghost in here I got to close but the mind is so strong that once you set it it doesn't matter what you got to face you'll go through whatever you got to go through is there somebody here that knows what I'm talking about tell somebody I didn't just get here by chance I had to set my mind cause the devil fought me on every side he tried to break me down but I had my mind I feel the spirit of the Lord give me just a little help here when you got your mind 
set on Jesus. That's where my mind is. And I have to hold on through the power of my thoughts because the flesh and circumstance can put you through a whole lot of changes and people will drive you crazy. Look at somebody say your children is just a distraction. You better put your mind on God. Tell somebody that man is a distraction. That woman is messing with your anointing. That's just a distraction. Every gift God gave you is wrapped up in the fact that you focus on him. Keep your eyes on him. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. But keep your eyes on the prize of the mark on the mark of the prize. Hey, whatever it is. It's of the high calling which is in Christ Jesus. Get your mind up off it. Can I preach to you a minute? If you keep your mind on Christ everything around you has to come to you you ain't got to look for it honey if you got your eyes on the Lord and focus on him when the storm is raging focus on him when it look like you can't make it focus on him when it feel like things are going crazy just look at him and give him the praise look at his loveliness look at his beauty and worship him in the midst of your trial because that ain't nothing but a distraction but if you praise him he'll heal your body tell your neighbor sickness is a distraction but if you worship him he'll heal your body tell your neighbor being broke is a distraction but if you praise him he'll put money in your bank Tell your neighbor a woman that don't love God is a distraction. But if you praise him, he'll give you a woman. He'll give you a man. He'll give you a house. He'll give you a car. But all he wants you to do is set your affections on things above. Touch somebody say, I got my mind back. I'm getting ready to get my blood. Listen, I got my mind where I can praise him like I ought to. I feel the spirit of God. Give three people a high five. Say my mind is in the right place. I'm getting ready to open some mind doors. I'm getting ready to open some mind places. I'm getting ready to move in the spirit of my mind. I'm getting ready to break every curse that's been in my life cause I'm taking my mind to another level ah, I feel the Holy Ghost in here I'm not going back to a mindless existence but I'm going forward can I preach I got to close but everything the Lord bring you through don't even look at it don't even look at these lying folk that want to bring you down don't even give them that thought I ain't thinking about you I'm thinking about Jesus I ain't thinking about your lies I'm thinking about his anointing I ain't thinking about your attitude. Give me another mic here. The devil is a liar. I ain't thinking about you. I ain't got time to think about you. I only have time to think about his praise. Think about his blessing. Think about where I'm going. Think about where he's taking me. Let somebody say I'm going too high to worry about folk that ain't going nowhere. I ain't got no mind on folk that ain't got nothing but my mind my mind is in the name and the power of the Lord I'm free in my mind no longer bound 
no longer limited no longer with low self-esteem I'm getting ready to close but run your hand over your head and tell your neighbor is there anything over body? I'll tell your neighbor ain't nothing up there you can go as high as you want tell somebody I'm getting ready to go higher higher it's in my mind joy is in my mind love I feel like shouting I feel like shouting I got to close but I feel like the woman with the issue of blood she had one thing on her mind I got to be healed cut somebody say I got to get it today I got to get everything I can't leave without it it's on my mind can I give you a testimony everything that God ever put on my mind he brought it to pass that's why I don't speak it lest God put it because when he puts it you can speak it you can tell it everywhere well why should you tell it it might not come to pass the devil is a liar if it's in my spirit it's coming to pass and nobody can stop it because he said no weapon formed against you shall you can't get in my mind it's too high give somebody a high five say you can't touch my mind it's set when I higher place my mind no more I feel like shouting in here somebody just broke out right in your mind somebody just broke free right in your mind somebody just achieved everything God told you somebody just made a million dollars right here somebody just got healed right here somebody just overcame right here somebody somebody just been released I got it He's worthy. Somebody ought to praise him real quick. I'd praise him real quick. Give him some celebration. My mind is made up. I'm on my way up. I'm changed. I got a new mind. I'm trying to close, but I feel a double anointing. Tell your neighbor the yoke just broke. I feel liberty. Because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And it starts in the mind. Get somebody by both hands. Oh! Woo. Glory. Y'all better pray for me. I feel an anointing in here. I feel somebody just broke out. It's yours, man. It's in your mind. God said it in your mind. That's why he gave you discernment. So he'll know where to put your mind. Lock it in right there. Lock it in. Don't settle for 20,000. It's a million. Lock it in. Don't settle for less. It's all yours. Tell the devil it's all mine. All of it. Woo. Hallelujah. No more distractions. No more. No more seductions. No more having it in your hand and losing it because somebody messed with your mind. Satan turned my mind loose in the name of Jesus. I'm risen with him. I'm going to the next level. Somebody said, you can't get there. The devil is a liar. God has said it in your mind. 
this thing that God's getting ready to do for you it was already done 10 years ago but you didn't have it in your mind but it's in your mind now and God's taking you up there you know what he told me I'm getting ready to redeem the time I'm gonna do it so fast you forget how long you had to wait <laughs> 